Pipes and many other rooftop penetrations can be sealed using 228mm pressure-sensitive uncured flashing tape. The pipe wrap is done in three parts. To determine the size of the first tape, mark out the width of the pipe and add 75mm. The added 75mm extends to the front of the pipe. To shape the tape, the exposed outer corners are removed as indicated. Cut a square measuring half the width of the pipe to be sealed from the centre of the pressure-sensitive tape. This will allow the flashing detail to be drawn round the pipe, creating an upstand. Reposition the tape detail and mark round it. This is a target area for the EPDM primer. On dusted membranes, primer must be applied with a scrubbing pad. If the membrane is factory pre-cleaned, a brush may be used. Scrub primer into the surface, ensuring it is applied to the entire target area. Remove any pools of primer to create a thin, even coat. Ensure hands are clean and dry before moving on to the next stage. Touch test the primer to ensure it is thoroughly dry and flashed off. It shouldn't leave a fingerprint or transfer to your hand. Lay the tape into position. It is applied to the deck area first, then to the centre of the pipe, creating an anchor for the tape. Pinch the corner of the square cut and stretch the tape to the outside edge away from the pipe. Anchor the tape to the deck and draw around the pipe to create an upstand. By anchoring to the decking area first, you ensure it remains in position, allowing you to draw the air out from around the base of the pipe. Repeat for the opposite side. Roll the pressure sensitive tape. Repeat the procedure with an identically shaped pressure sensitive tape to the opposite side. Apply the primer to the target area, including the first tape. Apply to the deck area, to the vertical surface of the pipe and around the pipe, overlapping the original pressure sensitive tape. This ensures that the stretched areas of the first tape are reinforced and the strength of the detail maintained. Roll the pressure sensitive tape, concentrating on any steps created by the first tape. The final pressure sensitive tape can now be applied. To determine the size of the tape, measure the circumference of the pipe and add 75mm to create an overlap. Transfer these measurements to the pressure sensitive tape. Shape the detail, removing the corners that will sit on the deck. Crease the tape 50mm from the shaped edge that will sit on the deck and position this against the pipe. Mark the top of the tape against the pipe and at the base of the target area for the primer to be applied. The EPDM primer must extend above the top of the detail and beyond it where it sits down onto the deck. Check the primer to ensure it is fully flashed off. Apply the tape, starting at the top and working down to the base of the pipe. Install the tape to within 10mm of the base, leaving it clear of the deck, and wrap the tape around the pipe. Do not let the tape overlap at this stage.
Bring the pressure sensitive tape down the remaining 10 mm to the deck. Press the tape into the angle at the base of the pipe from the reverse side. Ensure all air is removed from the angle change. Continue this until the flashing is tight round the entire pipe and then secure the first 10 mm from the base of the pipe to the deck. Secure the start point and lay approximately one quarter down onto the deck. Prime the target area for the overlap. Touch test the primer to ensure it is thoroughly dry and flashed off. It shouldn't leave a fingerprint or transfer to your hand. Secure the overlap to the primed area. Start with the pipe itself and align the tapes at the top. Work the tape into position at the base of the pipe. The ends of the tape must be securely overlapped before completing the circle. The remaining tape can be drawn out away from the base of the pipe. Once the pressure sensitive tape is installed, it must be rolled, concentrating on any overlaps or steps to ensure a watertight seal is formed.